PowerPoint slide, hip hop and anime by Blank Thoughts. I'm gonna split this up into three different categories. So catch up. We got hip hop soundtracks in anime, hip hop moments in anime, and anime influence in hip hop, which is personally my favorite out of the video. If you don't watch the other two, watch the last one because that shit was kind of fucking cool. We're gonna hop straight into hip hop soundtracks and anime. And who am I not to bring up the most obvious choice? The, the first one that should be on your mind as we speak, guys and gals. The One Piece for Kids opening. Here's how the story goes. We find out by the treasure in the grand line. There's no doubt. The Mango, Mango, Mango. Nah, bro, I'm trolling, dog. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. Nah, guys, we're gonna be talking about Samurai Sham Blue. This is one of the few shows that I have personally not watched, but I know purely based off the OST hype. I knew the OST before I even knew it was part of the anime. This soundtrack is sensational. Even if you're not into anime, you might have even heard these soundtracks either on YouTube or on TikTok or on some form of media at some time in your life. And again, if I butcher these names, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna try my best. But Nujabes and Fat John were able to create one of the most iconic anime soundtracks really known on the planet. Rest in peace Nujabes in 2010. It's, it's really sad to see people who have impacted the space so heavily die at such an early age, but at least he was able to leave behind such an incredible work that literally we will probably never forget in anime. If you guys have somehow not listened to one of their tracks, Shiki no Uta, Battle Cry, Aurian Dance. These are three tracks I think you can easily dive right into and it would be like easy. I think Nujabes and Suwano might be the only music producers that I probably know in anime because they're that iconic and for it to be like a rap theme soundtrack is kind of cool because if you guys don't know this soundtrack is literally lo-fi hip-hop before lo-fi hip-hop again this shit came out in 2004 you didn't see homegirl right on the desk doing her lo-fi shit with study beats you didn't have random youtube videos with like a hey, lo-fi hip-hop beats to get you through your depression back in like fucking 2004 you had a hey, samurai shampoo part one of three but the bass the drums the super soft atmosphere that the music conveys um it's it's something that's very unique only to this series and i don't see other shows trying to replicate it even now to this day i don't think an anime with this type of soundtrack would prosper because it has to really be either really big or go home or it has to hit like a very niche or profitable fan base like the isekai heads like the cute girls doing cute thing fan base so check it out for yourself me personally this shit is fucking gas i think a lot of people agree as well these tracks are sensational and even though i so dearly wish to have like every single anime opening or ending that had like a good rap verse in it it's not possible for me i'm gonna put some of my favorites in here though <laughs> shout out to all the big three having some sort of rap iteration in their openings whether it be bleach opening one naruto shippuden opening one or four kids opening one but there's some good ones we have megalobox ending one for my alchemist brotherhood opening three um the odd taxi opening the samurai shampoo opening the afro samurai opening we are we're born dive into the world and even bleach opening nine um these these are beggars bro also like how like varied hip-hop has gotten in anime you got a little bit more of a poppy sounding rap with odd taxi like more like a j-pop type feel if you get like a little bit more old school with that naruto shippuden opening one as well they don't sound the same they're still hip-hop they're still rhyming and they still on the anime playlist on my spotify that's all that kind of matters and even when they're using soundtracks as well like megalobox um it really helps like with the gritty feel megalobox does it a lot and it actually works really well with the series but going to the next part we got hip-hop moments in anime so anime being the medium it is, um, has a thing called cute girls do cute things. Where the premise is cute girls doing cute things. So Japan, being the country that it is, decided that, A, what if we just have high school girls rap? Oh. <laughs> So when I was doing my research on like hip hop moments, a lot of these popped up. Whether it be shows like Zombieland Saga, Kaguya Sama, or Arahin Arahin San, Arahin San. I feel like I'm the only one that struggles with this name. <laughs> Either way, the high school girls get the mic. It just starts breaking it down it's for the culture, man. They're usually like these like old school gangster '90s vibe 
tap their back, just straight freestyling and shit. And you know how like sweet and salty stuff just kind of like goes together sometimes? Like salted caramel, 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 caramel. I guess this works for rap and anime girls. I don't know. I don't know. Again, Japan, what I was giving you the big bucks, do what you gotta do. This isn't my most favorite or preferred genre when it comes to anime, but I at least understand the appeal where it's coming from. Me personally, though, when it happens in anime, I'm like, hey, shout out to you. I don't really give a fuck, but shout out to you. But you also just have the, hey, this anime. Let me just throw a rap moment in there. Delman Crybaby 2018 would do a lot. Killer B from Naruto would as well. Kasu from Gintama. Kenkai Sensei would do it. Megalobot. Your boy Kong Ming. Even Snap will fucking do it. And I hate this show. I can go on forever for these, like, little rap moments. And you guys can put it in the comment section as well of your favorite ones. But it's almost become, like, its own little trope at this point. They're not really overly serious moments. They're more for, like, comedic effect. It's just kind of hard because they're rapping in Japanese. And it rhymes. You hear it. They be rhyming and shit. I'm like, ayo. Um, but then you look at the subtitles. And it's like... I can't keep up. <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. And guys and gals, this is my favorite slide. This was actually not even supposed to be part of the video, but I was researching, and I was like, this shit kind of crazy. But you guys are going to be blown back. If you guys listen to hip-hop of the artists that have used anime samples in their song, hear me out, bro. Welcome to the Party by Pop Smoke samples the Higurashi main theme by Kenji Kawai. I bumped this song so many fucking times, and I had no fucking idea. I don't even watch Higurashi. But what do you gotta do with Pop Smoke? Y'all hear this? Y'all hear what he cooking up? Y'all hear the party. I'm off the Myers in the lane. That's why I'm over retarded. That's why I'm over retarded. Baby, welcome to the party. Huh? I hit the window up and get out the skin. Pick some of Give me your head. They even got J. Cole. Sampling like some loop in the third. It's because it's by this guy called Yuji Ono, which is absolutely a goat in the space in the 80s. Even Benny the Butcher, when he made Joe Pesci, sampled this Yuji dude. You know, I can understand why this dude go crazy. Also, shout out to Songs and Sample for breaking this shit down into YouTube videos. Clutch. But that shit was in my blood. You know my life, I know your mama niggas, send my love. But the list can go on forever. We got like MF Doom on his song Angel sampling an anime called Space Royals Bal Bal Baldios? Baldios? I don't know what that is, bro. J. Cole did it again with Gohan's Anger from the Dragon Ball Z American soundtrack with Revenge of the Dreamers. And even though this might be some of the most useless information you might have heard today, I don't give a fuck. But as a whole, like, liking anime as a rapper is pretty normal. I can't count how many, like, Dragon Ball and Goku bars I've heard over the years. Like, even Little Uzi made, like, a song called Sasuke a couple years back. It's pretty trash, but, um, he made it. She's so nasty. She's so nasty. What was this nigga cooking, bro? But no, y'all, there's just a quick little video I wanted to make. The idea popped in my head. I was like, fuck it, bro. But happy Black History Month, guys. But thank you guys for watching the video once again. Guys and gals, these are my blank thoughts.